Good morning, grade five. This is Teacher Rana with you again. And today we will study a new lesson. So let's start. Now, here I'll, I'll explain to you what are the, mo the main points in this poem. Now for verse one, when the writer says, I have a tiny body, body here means a friend. And his name is Tree Frog. He flew in from Brazil because red eyed frogs basically live in the rainforest, and Brazil uh, is a country of a rainforest. Now, uh, he rattles when he speaks. Now, what we call, or what do we call the sound of frogs? Yes, frogs rattle. Okay, now what is the color of this frog? Of course, it is a green and a greener than a grass and his eyes are red. Now, his base, his food is crickets and small insects like crickets, fleas and moths. So, uh, these are his favorite meals during the day. And uh, when he, when the writer said he was born in a forest, a forest with warm rain, he means the rainforests. And uh, this frog produces slime, and this slime is like magic. It likes it like medicine, cures laziness. But still, this frog is very poisonous, and. Um, these are the main points, uh, so let me go now to the pronunciation activity. In the pronunciation activity here, you have a group of words, and I want you to read them carefully and find the rhyming words for these words. And to remind you, the rhyming words are words with the same sound, but still they are different in meaning. Now the words are class streets, fame, fight, plain, poisonous, seen, nabs. So I will be waiting for your answers. You can write either on a piece of paper or uh, on your book. So it's up to you. Again, listen again to me reading the poem or you can read it and then match these words with their rhyming words in the poem. Now, if you notice, we have some blue words in the text. So what you have to do after finishing the rhyming words is to match the meanings of blue words with their meanings. For example, which word or which blue word means intense and which word means a nice temperature, for example. So also I will be waiting for your answer for your answers and that's it for today uh, so the homework is doing the pronunciation section and also doing the word act study activity three you have to read the poem and send me your voice messages and that's it for today grade five i cannot wait to meet you again stay home stay safe and goodbye